Hello everyone, today I want to show you how to export step files from EasyEDA. I'm using the desktop version of EasyEDA, but this applies to the web version as well. Uh, basically, if you want to use your PCB and your 3D model, like in Fusion 360 or whatever, you want, an, you want to export a step file and EasyEDA doesn't make that easy, unlike the name suggests. There is a way to export a 3D model that you can find here. You can export an OBJ file. But if you do that, you end up with something like this, which is, uh, you know, looks fine, but this is obviously a mesh file, not a, uh, a 3D CAD file. And not only that, but it's also just the dimensions and everything are just wrong. Like, uh, this is not 13, 22 millimeters. This is only 34 millimeters. So, you know, this doesn't really work that well. But there is a way to export uh, step files from Easy EDA that is not so obvious. And uh, you do need an extra program, that's the thing. You also need a, a Easy EDA Pro. So you can export from Easy EDA, import into Easy EDA Pro, and then from Easy EDA Pro, you can export as a step file. What you need to do is come here, click ex uh, under export, uh, click export as Easy EDA, and uh, save the file here. I need to overwrite that, there you go. Then you need to open Easy EDA Pro. Easy EDA Pro also has a web-based version, so if you want to use this in your browser, that is still possible. Uh, in Easy EDA Pro, you go to File, Import, Easy EDA Standard, not Professional. And uh, this tells you to put the files in a zip file, but you don't need to because we're just importing the PCB, we're not imp importing the entire project. So you just double-click the exported file. The default settings here will work just fine, just hit Import. And this will ask you to name your file. You just hit save and let it process. And then yes, say open the imported file. Now um, here you can just double click on your PCB and this will open your PCB. And I recommend going to the 3D model view just to, you know, I, I find it easier to see, see if things are wrong, things are imported wrong or not in, a, you know, in the 3D model. Like I've seen the silk screen uh, moved around in the past, and like, yeah, it did here too. You can see that the XYZ uh, moved down or the Kuspa moved up or something like that. So, yeah, the silk screen doesn't matter though, that won't be exported, but just double check that everything looks all right. Double check the dimensions here. Just in this case, everything is fine, so this can be exported. It has the dimensions here in mils, but doesn't matter, it's, it's the same thing. So, here you can go to File, Export, and then 3D File. And here you can select between step and obj this is the feature that they really should add to the standard version but they didn't so here you select step and uh, you name your file or whatever and hit export this will take a while to process but when it's done it will let you save the step file and once the file is exported you can go to fusion 360 or whatever and then just import it so i'm sure you know how to do that just you know go through this and import Upload and uh, yeah, Fusion 360 is cloud based, so this needs to upload to the cloud. So this will take a second. Once it's done, you can just double click to open your file. Yeah, just double check everything is okay. So this side is 28.979 millimeters, for example. I don't know, I guess that's about right. You can measure it from here to here 33.974, so 34 basically. I mean, the, there are tolerances on built PCBs anyway. And this is a step file, so no more like polygons or anything like that. These circles are circles. You can use that, these to align this on other parts or extrude from this or you know, everything like that. So yeah, this is how you do it. It is complicated. It's not easy, unlike easy EDA name implies, but if you need that step file of your easy EDA project, this is how you do it. So I hope this took me a while to figure out some time ago. So. I yeah, hope this helps you if you need step files. If you found this video useful, leave a like down below and thanks for watching.